assembly, nucleus, and then everything else is written in fourth. That um, carries a bit of a speed penalty, so what I chose to do was implement as much as possible, apart from the things that aren't uh, really dependent on speed, they're all written in assembly language, everything. Only some parts of the compiler itself are written in fourth, because by that stage all the supporting infrastructure to make writing a fourth compiler in fourth existed, so it made sense to write it in fourth. Um, Let's say that each each compiled word, when you write, when you define a, uh, what's known as a word in fourth, um, each word only uses two bytes. So it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter how complicated that word is, it, it just uses two bytes. Um, so I'll demonstrate in a bit. So every presentation should include a cost analysis, as my friend Roger here, who I'm sure will agree. Well, it's free. The idea is that uh, I'm not writing this to make money. None of us are here uh, using the TI to make money. We're just uh, geeks having fun. Uh, I want people to use it and abuse it and try it out, test it, tell me if there's bugs or problems so I can uh, improve it. I've um, had the circuit boards made for the cartridges at my cost. Um, I'm now getting the EEPROMs and uh, I will be uh, I will be selling the cartridges, but only to cover my costs. So I'm not interested in making any profit. The images for the emulators will be freely downloadable from anywhere. If anybody wants to put them on their websites, uh, just help sell some. Uh, we've got uh, a couple of guys in the states because uh, there's quite a lot of interest in America in this at the moment, um, gearing up to distribute this in America. And if anybody in Europe is interested in you know. Uh, helping to copy EEPROMs and post them to people that want copies. Uh, that's uh, that would be great because it may be that I'm moving away from Europe uh, in the next uh, few few months. Uh, of course, England is in Europe. I'll be living in Asia. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> if, yes. if, if, um, so I won't be here. So as I say. The, the language is stack based, uh, stuff is, uh, everything's passed via a stack, which I can show you in, in a moment. Um, uh, there are two stacks in fourth. There's a data stack, which holds uh, your data that you're working with in your program, and there's a, a return stack, which you can access, but you don't, normally you just leave it and it takes care of itself. The return stack is what allows words to be nested pretty much uh, to an unlimited level. So words can call uh, words, or they can recurse and call themselves, and they all um, automatically unwind themselves, just as you would expect. Uh, the normal top-down approach applies when you design your code, when you sit down with a, an empty screen or an empty piece of paper, you will design your code top-down. But uniquely, really, to forth, you'll usually code it bottom-up. And the reason for that is that um, Due to the way fourth works in its dictionary system, a word has to exist before you can reference it. Um, so you can't write a word called A and call a word called B if you haven't written B. It won't work. So you have to write B first. So normally you'll design it in the normal way, top down, but you'll code it from the bottom up. So you'll start at the lowest level of whatever it is you want to do, and then you work out. Uh, uh, in the end, you end up with a single word called go or run, and you type that in and your application runs. It's, uh, again, it takes a little bit to get used to, but it, it, it's, if you think about it, it actually makes sense because the language is interactive, and you can test as you write your code, and it means that as you move out to the outside layers, you're, you're relying on code which has already been written and already debugged. So you shouldn't have to worry about going down into deeper levels to find out what, what's wrong. You've already been there and fixed it. Um, it encourages aggressive code reuse, what's known as factoring in fourth. You should only write a word once. And if you find common phrases of code appearing, then you should consider what's known as factoring. So take that code out. If, if you're using it in four or five different places, a, 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 a phrase, as, as we call them, of code, remove those phrases, put them into a word in their own right, and then refer to that from your code, which reduces your memory, uh, lets you get more code in. 
So here's a, a yeah, a very simple example that everybody starts off with. With fourth, if you've done any fourth programming, I'm sure you'll have seen this example. This is a, a word which uh, simply doubles what's uh, what's input to it and displays the answer. What we've got uh, is a few things here we need to explain to you. Colon is a, a word. Um, there is no syntax in fourth. None. Nothing at all. In C or basic, we have things like parenthesis. If you want to pass a parameter, we have a parenthesis. And we separate our parameters with commas. And we must put a closed parenthesis at the end, or the compiler gets confused. At the end of a line of code, we must put a semicolon, for example. That is not the case in fourth. And even things like this, and this, and this, which may look like punctuation uh, uh, um, or syntax aren't. They're actually executable words, and each one does something. So what this does here, imagine you're sitting at the command line with a flashing cursor, and you type this line of code in. When you hit enter, it starts decoding what you've typed here, and it comes across this colon. Colon actually means switch on the compiler. So you, uh, you've you gone from interpretive mode where everything you type and press enter would be normally be executed immediately. This suppresses that behavior and switches on the compiler and it actually tells the compiler we're going to create a word for the, for, for the vocabulary. So it reads until the first space and it creates an entry in its dictionary called double. So we've made a word called double. And um, it then comes across this word and decodes it. Space is, is the most important character in fourth. That's what delineates everything. So I guess you could say if there is any syntax in fourth, it's the space character, and that's it. Um, this word here uh, is pronounced dupe. and simply means duplicate. So you imagine you have a number on the stack, uh, <coughs> 9. When double runs, it duplicates uh, what's on the stack. So now you have a 9 and a, another 9 below it on the stack. Um, this isn't um, an operator like in ordinary languages. In C or, or in basic, you can think of uh, addition as being atomic. It's at the lowest level. You cannot go any lower than that. You can't see inside it. You can in fourth, you can actually redefine plus and make it minus if you want, but I won't, we won't go there. Uh, as it stands, plus simply removes two numbers and always two numbers from the stack, sums them and puts the answer back on the stack. Simple. Uh, this, is, this actually means take the top number from the stack and display it. And the reason it's simply a dot is because the original designers of the fourth language were lazy and couldn't be bothered to type the word print. So they came up with a shorthand, which is a dot, which really is the way it's a dot. So, and this here uh, switches off the compiler and uh, completes the, the definition of that word. And from that point on, you can call uh, the word double. Double is now a part of the fourth vocabulary of the machine. And to test it, and I can show you later, you would, uh, after compiling it, the switched off here, we're back onto our flashing cursor, just like in basic. You can enter 9 space double and press enter. It, it identifies 9 as a number, which goes on the stack. It identifies that as a word that it knows, and immediately branches, executes the word, and gives us our result. Very, very, very simple. The, the complicated thing about fourth is that it's simple. And that, and that is, sounds ridiculous, but it's actually true. It's, uh, it, it takes you a while to get used to how simple it is. It's, it's, it's the strangest language I've ever seen in my life. But it has a beauty. Um, you can do all sorts of things with immediate words. The words can be, uh, uh, words can execute at compile time. 
uh, it, it, it can, you can get really deep and complicated with it. And there's quite a lot going on inside the compiler, but uh, you know, leave that for another another time. Here we go. Fourth is, is here's the overview. Fourth is simply stacks. Um, as I say, everything is. Once you understand that the fourth is is just stacks, numbers, and words. I don't know why I've got stacks twice, but there you go. Plus, I just like stacks. Um, once you understand that, you really have learned the language. There's no tricks to learn, like uh, pointer referencing and dereferencing. Um, fourth does have pointers, but they're significantly easier to use in, in terms of uh, syntax, etc., than uh, languages like C. Um, all numbers go on the stack. You can put them in variables. It's, fourth does support variables and constants, um, which are all supported in Turbo 4. But to manipulate any number, it has to go onto the stack where it can be manipulated and then stored. <coughs> um, all these are examples of valid words. There's no syntax here. All these are completely valid words. That's all you have to know in order to understand fourth. Once you've got that in your mind, the rest is, is as I say, uh, you've just got to build the knowledge of the word set, understand what each word does and how it interacts with the stack, and practice. So I can, I can show you some examples in a bit. Sorry, can I, can I just ask, is, is there a base of uh, basic words that are supplied? Yes. Yes. Okay, so you've got the first uh, set of... Yeah, to, 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 to before the, uh, is, a, is a cartridge and oh. is, um, is, is self-supporting, so you can switch on, as long as you have 32K, yeah. because it's got to have somewhere to put your programs. Yeah. Um, but all the words in the in the nucleus, as I call it, the built-in vocabulary, are encoded onto the EEPROM in the cartridge. There's nearly 300 words, I think, um, doing all sorts from uh, you know maths, looping, if then, uh, decision making, uh, displaying, handling different number bases, uh, flow control, reading the keyboard, handling sprites. All that kind of stuff is, is already in there. So, <laughs> oh, so uh, I was going to say that. The things I need to do, I need to add um, the sprite engine. I've, I've, I've mapped out how that code will, code will work. In extended basic, you'll all be familiar with interrupt driven sprites and how you can set them and they are moved by themselves. Um, that kind of already exists uh, now in Turbo Fourth, although I, I prefer the way it's done in Turbo Fourth, where you have more control. Uh, but in addition, uh, there's going to be an extra uh, sprite animation engine, and you'll use uh, strings with a very, <coughs> very simple uh, language, which will actually allow you to put sprites on a path. Uh, which can vary. So at the moment, extended basic, you set them off in a, in a direction, and they just that's what they do, and they don't do anything else. In Turbo Fourth, you'll be able to set any sprite on any path, so it will follow the path that you tell it to all the time, and will also animate at the same time. Um, that's that's uh, in in design now. Uh, that will be interrupt driven, so it will it will run asynchronously from your program, just like. Basic. In addition, there will be a simple uh, music player. It, it won't do samples, sound or anything, but it will allow you uh, access to the tone generators. On the TI there's three tone generators and a noise generator. So, you know, if you want music playing while your game runs, uh, it will be absolutely no problem at all. It will be interrupt driven. The final thing is to uh, add the speech engine. It already does built-in speech.